The installation of the Easy Float drain on both sides of the patio has allowed us to create these plantings and this walkway on the lake side of the house. Comes right across and it comes out to this drain which we'll just use an uh, uh, artfully arranged pile of rocks uh, known as an energy dissipator that will allow the flow from those drains to come out. The pipe you see on the right creates another challenge which um, is their sump pump which normally has nothing coming out of it in the year that this house has been built because there's so much soil sand on the site it's, we've never seen anything come out of it but now the plumbers had to redirect some filtered water from a system they've installed in the house out through this instead of going into their on-site holding tank and our best solution was to come up and use the easy flow well system which is going to go right in here. We shot the grades, we know what depth we need to go to and that's what we're working on today and this is going to be part of an area that is this north turf area where the irrigation has got to run and this whole area will be graded and irrigated. So that's right in here. So we'll start with that construction right now. So what our goal is with these uh, flow wells is to bury them down it's approximately 24 to 30 inches. That's the outflow of the sump pump which is going to be connected to a 90 and right into the top of this flow well. Then we've cut out two inserts on either side and we've connected these two pipes so when this one fills up it'll flow into here and also flow out through there. So we shot the grade, we're going to auger these holes with our dingo, get the grade set correctly, and then wrap these in an erosion control matting on the sides, down on the bottom, and insert these. What we're doing is this is a Toro dingo, it's a track model with a 30 inch auger. And I've lined that auger up in the center line of that pipe coming out. It's a 30 inch auger, so we're going to be plenty wide enough to insert these uh, flow wells, and we don't need to put stone around because they have sandy soil. So we're going to auger this, it takes a couple seconds to dig each hole, and then we'll clean it out with shovels if need be. And then we'll reshoot the grades to make sure we're at the right depth. So we augered both these holes out with an inch or two of what we thought they needed to be. My wife and I each picked a hole and dug it out the last two or three inches. Shot it with a laser level to make sure they were both at the same grade. As you can see, it is pure sand where we're working. So drainage is not going to be a challenge coming out of these. We got it lined up pretty much with the uh, sump pump drain coming right into here. We may have to do some final adjustments. Now we've got to take and wrap the geotextile fabric around the, each of these wells before we put them in the ground. But uh, like I said, Toro Dingo made it really easy. If you got harder soil, it'll take you a while to dig this. It took us about 10 minutes to auger both these and clean them out. So now what we've done, we had assembled these yesterday. It took a while to punch all the punch outs out. We took them all out. Um, so we have to set these in the hole, but save the liner in place. I saw this on NDS's website. They actually just took masking tape and put on there. So we measured the circumference of the well along with the height, cut it out of a geotextile fabric that we use typically under stone walkways, a little bit heavier than that actually, um, and put it all around. And we left cutouts where the pipes are going to connect each other we left that clean so I can go in there. And you can see my wife is very neat with her taping and she's got nice folds. Nobody's going to see it but we like to make sure things are done right. We've got the, this one is cut out so we can put the drain in there and we'll be good to go. I'm now standing in the second of the two holes. We set the first tank in here. See there's a little bit of gap around the sides if you're in heavier soil then you could put stone around there if you needed drainage. I see drainage isn't a challenge for us. We just don't want this 
pouring out onto what will be an irrigated turf area out here next spring. We've got the uh, sump pump overflow right here. We are going to take, we've got to do a few measurements, but we're going to take this pipe and put a 90 right into the top of this. We just have to shorten this middle pipe a little bit. So I'll be doing that right now. Right now I'm standing in the second hole where the second easy flow well is going to go. The connection pipe will be there. We've connected this right to the outflow of the sump pump. We glued that section. I didn't glue these here. This section I tapped into the hammer so it is right up to here. But in case you do need to take it apart, these are all just fit together. Um, and then it goes right into the well. We'll backfill around this. We'll clean out the other drain for another uh, gutter that we have. And we'll put this second pipe in here. I thought I had smarter myself. How, is, how was I going to get this pipe from this one to this one since we've got everything sealed on both of them. So what I'm going to do next is insert the flow through pipe into this one, push it in, insert this well in here, and then pull that into the second well. Then we're going to seal it with some black expanding foam that we use when we build water features. That way it'll be watertight. Not that the rest of it doesn't leak like a sieve like it's supposed to, but we just don't want that pipe to move, so we'll foam it in. I've now inserted this pipe that'll connect these flow wells. You can see right now it slides in and out. That'll allow us to install the second well in here, and then I'll be able to slide that pipe back and forth and get it in correctly. Here's the project almost completed. We put the second well in, connected it with a four inch pipe. In this case, we're going to put an extension on the top. We don't need to put a drain in. We could, but we're just going to put an inspection port in there in case we need to vacuum something out. And since this isn't glued together, or if we needed to, we could always come up in this area, cut it, pull this if we need to clean that out. But I don't foresee that happening because no debris is actually going into this, just filtered water. We're going to backfill around this. And then uh, first we've got to let this foam dry. We put a little bit of foam around there just to kind of secure that pipe on each edge. Give that about 10 minutes to dry here. Then we'll backfill this. Before we backfill it all the way, we're going to run, we're going to pull this inspection port out, the whole pipe, put a hose in there, and just watch how the water is coming out of the bottom or the sides. Make sure everything's working correctly. Well, the, uh, it's all backfilled with sand. We took this clean out pipe right here off and actually ran the hose directly in there full blast for 20 minutes. The water never got a, more than a quarter inch deep on the bottom plate of the flow well. So obviously with the sand, we don't have a problem with drainage at all. And uh, I turned off the hose, the bottom plate that you'll see is you can optional we put on the bottom it was already dry and uh, we're going to put this cover back on and we're going to take more outcroppings like you see here and we're going to paint these pipes black because it's the least visible color in nature but we'll paint them black and then we'll probably put some more outcroppings where the yellow shovel is and you won't even see any of this it'll all be buried but uh, it's too wet from rain the last couple days we don't have any soil we do have the outcroppings on site so we're not going to be able to finish that in this video but we'll maybe show that later so that's our solutions from NDS we've got the flow well systems here which are connected to their sump pump and then we've used the uh, easy flow system across this whole patio and as you see if I walk over here that we've landscaped this whole side of the house and we've used the easy flow system on both sides of the patio. The one on the south end, which is the lighthouse, we ran it down there and it's just ran, run to daylight with energy dissipator pile of rocks and everything works great. We love this product. We will use it on every system we have to put this in. Makes life easy, inexpensive solution for the client and a good long-term solution.